So, are you currently spending a lot of time at home and with low energy levels and you're feeling like it's affecting your productivity? Comment down right now how you're feeling, how your energy levels are, how your productivity levels are feeling currently due to this whole pandemic. Has it been affected? I want to know guys, comment down below. Well, don't you worry because in this video guys, I'll be sharing with you four tips on how you can boost your energy levels for you who can make the best version of yourself productivity wise. But guys, before this video starts, my name is Kevin. I make videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday on productivity tips, on minimalism lifestyle, and guys, on personal finance tips for you who can leverage yourself in the future. So guys, consider subscribing, make sure you like this video, and share this video with any friends that you may think are interested in those tips. Okay guys, so tip number one is exercise. Stop. Stop what you're doing right now and just, just get up guys and give yourself a little bit of a stretch. It feels good, right? Exactly, exactly what I'm trying to get at. I'm not trying to tell you guys to go to the gym. Well, you can right now, but even in the future, I'm not telling you to go to the gym guys and just go there and lift some heavy weights, train like a bodybuilder, or go try to run a marathon. Getting some light exercise in our day or a 30 minute walk can really do miracles for your energy and health in the long run. I feel very, very anxious when I'm just there all day sitting in the computer, whether I'm just doing homework or whether I'm just trying to work or trying to do anything, but just being in that position for way too long, guys, just gets me very, very anxious. And if you're feeling the same, guys, why not just consider just how I do, I just try to get up, guys, go walk around my house, you know, just try to stretch for a bit. Probably it's your break time, so maybe get a 30, 20 minute little workout. By getting up and getting moving, guys, it will not only allow you to possibly get to the weight level that you may want, but it will actually allow you to increase your blood circulation levels. It will get you more energized and just make you feel much better overall. All right, guys, let's keep the ball rolling. And with tip number two being delegate your tasks. Now, I know many of us guys have many, many roles to play in life, whether it's being a full-time student, a full-time mom, a full-time anything, guys, a part-time anything, possibly a full-time this and a part-time that. It doesn't really matter, guys. All of us play a different role in life, but guys, we may feel very stressed at times because we're trying to, you know, play all these roles, do everything at the same exact time. So at times, we may feel a little overwhelmed, but all of this commotion in our daily lives can lead to burnout which of course will result in low energy. So instead, you may want to plan your tasks out for your responsibilities much more equally. Perhaps as well guys, distributing your chores around your house can actually benefit you in the long run. And guys, research shows that actually by paying out some chores or some tasks that you particularly don't like doing can actually make you live a much more happier life. But guys, of course with doing this, make sure it actually falls within your budget and in your means. Because of course you don't want to be going in debt just because you don't like cutting your grass or you don't want to be spending all your paycheck trying to hire a chef because you don't like cooking. Also, having so many tasks in our daily agenda might in result not even make us want to start or never finish them at all, in return making us feel less productive. Alright guys, so tip number three is your diet. What we eat on a daily basis really, really affects on how we feel on a daily basis. And guys, a big tip here, since carbohydrates really dictate our energy levels throughout the day, we may want to go with complex carbs instead of sugary carbs. So carbs like sweet potatoes, oatmeal, instead of going with like cookies and like sour keys, going with anything like that is not ideal since it just gives you some energy spikes for the moment, but then when it goes down, it crashes, and that's when you actually just feel that sugar rush and then that sugar crush. As well, making sure we drink sufficient water to avoid dehydration, which will give tiredness, is key. All right guys, so tip number four is sleep. Guys, I know we've been told sleep eight hours, sleep 10 hours, whether you know you're a female, you're a male, you're 10 years old, you're 20 years old, you're 50 years old, we all have different sleep hours. 
But guys, ultimately, the number of hours that we're sleeping is very, very important on how we're gonna react and act tomorrow and how productive we're gonna be. And guys, research has actually shown that the lack of sleep can actually result in mental health problems. So guys, with that being said, you can really, really just tell how important sleep really is. Although we all need different hours of sleep, a good starting point is 7 to 9 hours and also be consistent with the pattern of sleep, meaning the time we go to bed and wake up every day should be around the same times. This also includes not having any bright screens in our face before we go to bed. But don't worry guys, I still do this and it just takes a very long time to get used to. But guys, in conclusion with this video, it's very important that we self audit ourselves for we can really see what we're missing out. And guys, ultimately by doing that self audit, will we then really know what we really need to work on and we'll be doing the adjustments adequately so we can be the most productive version that we can be. I hope you enjoyed these four tips on how you can boost your energy as well as boosting your productivity that might have gone down. And if you guys like this content, make sure you go check out my other YouTube content that I'm posting out Tuesday and Fridays. And guys, if you really like this content, consider subscribing subscribing all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and why not while you're there while your mouse is there why not like this video guys and comment down below what other videos you guys would love to see next although my social media accounts for you guys can be up to date with my content i hope you enjoyed this video once again and i'll see you guys in the next video